I, I, I'm working with a family right now that um, uh, uh, single mom, um, three sons, three boys, um, they've all had their own medical issues. Um, <clears throat> the youngest son now is starting to develop some of these similar uh, medical issues. And she's tried Western medicine, mm -hmm. um, but now her, her next resort is to go back to her reservation in Montana mm -hmm. and to see a medicine man there um, to see if, you know, if that's another form of care. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, I think sometimes families tr who, are, who are a little more traditional, they rely upon that, um, going back home to the reservation, meeting with the medicine man, see if they can diagnose something. And then they'll prescribe something, you know. But you need both nowadays. Okay. You know, you have to integrate them. And so going to the reservation and receiving um, their health care through medicine men or women, what what different what does that provide that's different from Western medicine? Well, you have to understand um, what people think about what causes diseases, right? Okay. Because quite often uh, we we um, identify the disease and what it's doing in terms of what's biologically happening to our bodies physically. Now, um, with, some, uh, with some societies though, disease is caused by things other than the body being out of shape. Sometimes, and, and I'm not necessarily saying that this is the way for American Indians, but sometimes it's because you've done something wrong to someone else. So they think they're in a sense maybe cursed for or this is the universe sort of like it's oh. itself trying to hmm. establish balance. I did something wrong, and so I have to do something to amend that wrong. Otherwise, I might continue to be Does sick. Does that kind of belief exist in the Native oh, American community? Oh, it's huge. With okay. me, you know, when yeah. I, uh, sometimes when I get sick, I think, okay, what have I done wrong? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, you need to be in balance sort of thing with everything. That's the thing with the uh, ceremonies and such. They, hopefully, by the time you're done, you're kind of like in balance with all the your mental, social, physical, everything is kind of put back in proper perspectives. Okay.